a man lost half of his initial amount in the gambling after playing three rounds. A man lost half of his initial amount in the gambling after playing three rounds. The rule of gambling is that if he wins, he will receive rupees hundred. But if uh, but he has to give fifty percent of the total amount after each round. Fifty percent of the total amount after each round. Luckily, he won all the three rounds. The initial amount with which he had started the gambling was right. So an interesting game here. Initially, it says that a man has lost half of his initial amount. He has lost half of his initial amount in a gambling after playing three rounds. He has played three rounds. But see, luckily, he won all the three rounds. I mean, this is interesting. He has lost half of his initial amount after playing three rounds, and he had won all the three rounds. He had won all the three rounds of gambling. Is the question? Why is it so? How can this happen? When you have won three rounds. You should make money, right? But this person has lost money because the rule of gambling here was that if you win, if the rule of gambling is that if he wins, he will receive rupees hundred. So you get plus hundred, but he has to give fifty percent of the total amount after each round. So while you earn rupees hundred, you have to give back fifty percent of the total amount after each round. Fifty percent of the total amount after each round. So because of this typical rule that they have, this person has lost half of his wealth even after. Winning three rounds of gambling. Now, how do you solve this? Simple. Either go by options. I mean, you have understood the technique, right? Uh, like, like for example, let's say, I mean, just to help you understand how to use options, how to proceed with options. Let's say the answer is three hundred. Assume that the answer is three hundred. What happens? He started with three hundred. After the first round, he has won the first round. So, what will happen? He has three hundred rupees. He will earn hundred rupees. So, that makes it four hundred. But then he has to pay half of this 400, right? He will receive rupees 100, but he has to give 50% of the total amount after each round. So his total amount now is 400, but he has to give half of this. 400 by 2 is gone. 200 is gone. And finally, he's left with 200 rupees. So you understand, this is the total after winning. This is what he has to give after winning. And this is what he is left with after that round. What happens after second round? He has won the second round. See, he had 200 rupees. He's left with 200 rupees. He won the second round, so that gives him 100 rupees, right? He earns 100 rupees. So total becomes 300. But he has to give half of this 300 to whoever is organizing the game. So 150 rupees is gone. And he's left with how much? The remaining 150. He's left with 150. He had 300, out of which 150 has been given. He's left with 150. Again, third round. What happens? He has 150 is his initial amount. He's 100 rupees, which makes it total 250. And he has to give half of this 250. Half of 250 is 125. And what is he left with? 125. Is he satisfying the condition? No. This is not satisfying the condition. Why? Because the question says the man lost half of his initial amount. His initial amount was 100. He's left with how much? 125. Did he lose half? No, he has lost more than half. Suppose if he's left with 150 now, I can say yes, he has lost half of it. He had 300 rupees. He has lost half of it. So he's left with 150. But here he has lost more than half of it. He's finally left only 125. So 300 cannot be the answer. So this way you can very quickly verify with the options. So you don't have to write all these steps, right? You just have to play with numbers. Like for example, even if I take 600, 600 will become 700 after first round. He will give 350. So he's left with 350. 350 plus 100 is 450. He will give half of that. And he'll be left with the other half. So half of 450 is 225. He's left with 225. 225 plus 100, 325. And he has to give half of it. So half of 325 is 162.5. So he's left with the other half, 162.5. He started with 600, he's left with 162.5. Is he really left with half of his initial amount? No. 600 was the initial amount. What he finally has is 162.5. So has he lost half or more than half? Much more than half. So option 4 cannot be the answer. So this way you can verify with the options as well. Right? You can verify with the options as well. If you want to go by options. Right? So clearly 3 and 4 are eliminated, either 500 by 3 or 700 by 3 has to be the correct answer. You, you can just verify that. But then let us also discuss the regular way of solving this question, right? How will you solve it in a regular way? This is how you go by options. But if at all you don't want to go by options and if you want to start solving it in a step by step process, what do you do? Simple. Let's assume initial amount is i. What he initially has is i, right? Now, what happens in the first round? After the first round, it will make same thing, same thing has to be done using a general value. Instead of 300, we'll start with i. It becomes i plus 100. But he will be left with only half of this, i plus 100 by 2. Yes or no? See, half is given, so half is left. So let's only worry about one half. Right? I mean, if you see in all these cases, we have got the same value on both the sides because half is given and half is left. 
So don't worry about what is given. What is left is i plus 100 by 2. What happens after the second round? This i plus 100 by 2 is already there with him plus 100 rupees. But at the end of this round, he is left with half of this. Half of this amount is left with him, which is what i plus 100 by 4. Half of this is i plus 100 by 4 plus 50. So i plus 100 by 4 plus 50. You've understood? Sorry. Right? i plus 100 by 2. Half of this is i plus 100 by 4. Half of 100 is 50. What happens of the third round? He is left with, I mean, he has this amount. He is 100 rupees more. So, i plus 100 by 4 plus 50 he already has. It becomes plus 150. You understand? 100 is there. 50 is already there with him. Plus 100 rupees he has won. So, it makes plus 150. But finally, what is he left with? He is left with half of this. He is left with half of this. So, i plus 100 by 4 half will be i plus 100 by 8. And half of 150 will be 75. This is what he's finally left with after the third round. Yes or no? This was the initial amount. He won 100. He gave half of this amount to the person who was conducting the game. He's left with this. Again, he won 100 more rupees to this. He's left with half of that. Again, he more 100, uh, 100 rupees more and then he's left with half of that. So, I plus 100 by 8 plus half of 150 is 75. Now, he says this is equal to half of his initial wealth, I by 2. Because a man lost half of his initial amount. So, if he has lost half of his initial amount, he's left with half of his amount. So, after third round, what he has left with is half of what he initially had. Now, solve for i. Solve for i and you will get the answer. So, let's solve for i now. What happens? From this equation, solve for i. Why are we taking i by 2? Because he has lost half of the amount. If he has lost half of initial amount, he is left with half of the initial amount. i by 2. So, i by 2 is equal to whatever we have got here. So, I think when I simplify, 75 into 8, 75 into 8 will be 600, right? So, i plus 100 plus 600. So, this will be like i plus... 700 by 8 is equal to i by 2. Solve this now. So, i plus 700 equals to 4i or 3i equals to 700 which means i is equal to 700 by 3. So, 700 by 3 option 2 will be the answer. So, you have discussed both the solutions. How to go using options or using the regular method. Again, when you are doing it using the regular method, you can maybe cut down a few more steps if you can very quickly I mean, you can, if you can mentally understand, you don't have to say i plus 100, right? You can directly say i plus 100 by 2 is left out. Then half of this plus 50 is left out. Then half of this plus 50 is left out and, and so on. Okay.